Today is Saturday, the 29th of August, and we're fishing Shore Beach. How's it going people? Just down this webbing. Digging a few worms for tonight. And then shoot, this is going to be covered in water in about two minutes time. Got about 15 worms there. I left it really late to get down there. But I thought I'd just show you the weed. This one's been washed off at the moment. And that's the beaches, you can see. Absolutely coated. Got quite a strong northerly wind today, so the sea's nice and, nice and flat. But loads of colour still in the water from glass scales. But just noticing the diggings were so hard, but I think we're starting to get black lump worm casts all down here since I moved that pipe down uh, by Brooklyn's. Seems like we're getting black lump worm. I mean, some of these worms are quite fat in here. I'm not a worm expert. But there's definitely some big fatter ones with no tails. So I'm not too sure they're black lug or not. But yeah, her plan is to um, head down Sean Way in a couple of hours. Um, yeah, see what we can find. It'd be nice to find a codling or something. Water's nicely coloured. But I'm just worried about this weed. It's absolutely everywhere. But what I'll do, I'll see you in a couple of hours, guys. Right, guys, just got down Sean Beach. Lovely and flat. That's my normal beach for fish. Quite a few people fishing. You can see all the weed along there as well, so it's not a reassuring sight. But this beach, completely empty. Just a couple of people fishing to my boat. Just gonna get set up. Just gonna try one rod for now. See how the weed is. Um, use log worm for bait. Well, guys, I've just all set up. I'm actually using my fixed ball, my multiply rod. It's my Sonic Black. Had it a couple of years, just didn't really use it much because um, I use it with a multiplier and I just prefer my fixed ball. But hopefully, it won't do any harm just using a fixed ball on it. I need to respawn my uh, multiplier. Did buy some line, but can I find it? No. But anyway, rig wise, just a one up, one down rig there. Single lug worm in each hook. Got a couple of glow beads just above the hooks as well, uh, size 2 O's. And that is just going out as far as I can hammer it. Just stuck on my microphone because it is pretty breezy out here. The northerly winds are straight behind me. That's why the sea, the sea is so flat today. Um, just going to fish with one rod just for the time being. See how the weed is. See if there's any fish about. Just got to be careful there's like a buoy there. Hopefully there's no chains going towards this way or anything like that. But Looks like it goes further out to sea straight out, so hopefully that'll be alright. But yeah, it'd be nice to find a couple of fish today. Haven't been out a couple of weeks, it's been so blue and weedy everywhere. Whether it's been a bit of pants. So I've been really rubbish or really sunny hot with loads of tortoise. So yeah, but today seems like everyone's out hoping to find a fish. But let's see what we can find. I thought I saw a vastly bite out the corner of my eye. It's daydreaming a bit. But I've been out now for about 15 20 minutes, so I think it's time to do a bait check anyway and a wee check and we'll decide what we're going to do from there. Well, guys, I've been stripped and good news no weed whatsoever, can't see anything in the water at all. So I think we need to stick out another rod. Okay, second rod, just going for the mackerel head there, and that's just going out. Just past the end of the rocks, just here, sort of time, just behind that wave there. If you look this side, we're quite a bit further down the beach here, so a bit of cross current there, and the rocks are a bit of structure as well for fish to hide in. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to aim for. 
nothing happening yet, no more bites or anything. Bit of a sunset happening. Remembered last time, um, my head torch. I forgot to charge it, dead. Bit of charge in there. I literally went home and thought, oh, I'm going to order a second headlamp. I haven't even looked at it yet, I just chucked it in the tackle box. I I just do a bit of an opening. This is um, a tenner, so half the price of that. Um, this one, uh, that was a was it a Lesnar, something like that, anyway. But for ten quid, it's got a couple of settings. Quite a sport. What's that? Uh, it's like a full beam, dull beam, flashing. Okay, it's three settings. Seems quite bright, I'm quite impressed. Seems no way diff no way difference compared to Lesnar there. But yeah, tenor, Amazon. I might stick the link in the uh, description of any of you guys want a cheap headlight. It seems like it's gonna do the business. Bye right, guys, just put the light tips on as you can see. No bites yet. Just had the first sign of weed come in as well. Um I think it's more the case of all the stuff on the beach like that it's slowly getting washed back out again but it's also starting to spit rain and I ain't got a coat no shelter it's stupid shorts on still and it then feels pretty fresh out here you're stupid me eh <laughs> but yeah I'm hoping to find fish now it's got dark just hoping it's not whiting because it won't turn up, that's it, summer's over, and I think I might cry. There you go. See all the weed here, tide's almost hitting it. So I'm going to have to move back soon, but I think once this goes in the water, it's going to become a fishable, because another hour and 20 minutes, you've got all of this to go in, doing loads of it. So we'll see what happens. It's only quite small tides, I think it's only a five metre today. So but I think it's going to become fish unfishable guys well guys just had a wind in had all loads of line uh, weed all going up the line that's why hook baits all getting covered in weed again and it's all this stuff getting washed out so what I'm going to do because it's a bit of a rain as well I don't know just sit on the camera I'm just going to load up all my lug worm and the last couple of hooks and just try and find out one last fish and then probably call it a night there you go guys, there's the finished product, laid up with the three lug worms on each hook. I'm going to take in my other rods after I cast this as well, um, I don't want that to get all weeded up and stuck around all the rocks down there. So that's coming in next and I'm just going to leave this one out for another 5-10 minutes and then I'll probably be packing up. There you go, you can see the type of weed, it's just really clingy stuff all sticking to your line. So it's not pleasant. So I'll pack this one away and then I'll take in the other rod off this. Right guys, just taking in both my rods now. That's the last of the other rods. Don't have been out there for like seven minutes and it's already really weedy. But yeah, another blank, eh? <laughs> but it's good to be out for a few hours. Um, September's my favourite month for fishing. So I'm definitely going to put in a lot more effort to get out there and fish. Kids go back to school, so that frees up a bit of time as well. Got a week off, um, in about two weeks time, so should be able to get out quite a bit more, hopefully. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you very soon, guys. Thanks for watching.